Hi, my name is James. I'm coming to you from the Clem Institute, and I get this question a lot about PrimeScan versus Omnicam, and a lot of you folks have upgraded to PrimeScan and you're really enjoying that. The Omnicam was great as well, and it still works extremely well. So why would I recommend updating to PrimeScan? Can you do a lot more with it? Well, yeah, a lot. Let's go through a list of options that the Prime Scan will allow that really helps you to get your game going. Number one, initial documentation. You know, when I go back to dental school, we used to take study models for everything, right? And I did that my first few years in practice and then it started to wane off a little bit because <laughs> it's a lot of models to store. How do you store them? The beauty of digital is that you can store your models. And we always want to have pre-records. Just think about this. You have x-rays before you treat a tooth, right? I have photographs before I treat a tooth. Why not have a digital 3D model of a tooth before we treat it? So it's so easy to take full arch scans with the prime scan and it's very accurate. You can mount the models bilaterally. So I think that's a big reason why prime scan would work really well in a clinical theater. Number two would be treatment planning and also digital wax ups. Think about this. Whether it be a virtual model or a truly printed model, we can see wear and tear facets, tooth alignments, recession, tipping, torquing, you name it. It's all there. And when you look at the wear and tear of a mouth, it helps you to understand where that patient has been and where that patient is gonna go in their history. Number two would be doing a good digital wax up or a traditional wax up. I do both digital wax ups and traditional wax ups on a printed model and they work extremely well. It depends on what I'm trying to do. If it's just some minor torquing, then I'll just pull out my good old waxer and do the waxing that I need to do. Where if it's major shifts, then I'll do a digital wax up. Think of the restore to the protocol, which has been around for a long time. I started with the Red Cam. Each version of technology and software has been better. The prime scan is so accurate, particularly when you're doing zirconia with a new prime mill. It's the best fitting restoration I've ever seen, but it's also better with traditional ceramics, such as microfels pathic, leucites, or lithium bisilicates. Implant restorations and planning, that's been there for a long time in our clinical theater since Omnicam. It's just a lot easier to scan the arch there's more open systems that we can use now. So Prime Scan is there just to really document the clinical situation. Orthodontic planning and workflow. What I have found with the Prime Scan, it's so easy to scan an arch. Two to three minutes once you get your skill set down. It scans under undercuts really well, which makes it a lot easier to scan the mouth if you compare it to Omnicam. But the most important thing is that you have a really accurate bilateral buckle scan and the truism of the posterior dimensions of the arch are very accurate and that makes a big difference when you're scanning for ortho. These are options that I have that take prime scan way beyond the Omnicam and in my clinical theater I'm using prime scan almost for everything even scanning for a partial we can now send it to a virtual lab for a partial and they can actually print the partial in metal and get that back. The accuracy that we see whether we're doing our own clinical restorations or appliances or where we're sending off to a vast array of options, look at these options that you can do virtually now. And what I have found in my own clinical theater is that the accuracy, the reliability, the less adjustments that I have, particularly with appliances, really makes it worthwhile for me. And that's the reason why I'm such a fan of this Prime scan technology because it's it's taking the ability to scan in the mouth for almost anything you need even if it's for a denture scan I can scan for the base plate then do my border molding and then scan that and send it off to the lab for a virtual denture fabrication so if you're on the fence and you have Omnicam and you're thinking about updating you're just saying well it really make a difference in the rate of return in my office in my hands it has. I can expand what I scan. Ooh, I like that, expand what I scan. There's so much more I can do with it and it's really made a difference in the quality of my clinical theater. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you post them below. I'd love to hear from you guys. You take care now, bye.